so guys, today I'm going to talk about this Marantz Imperial 7G. And uh, why that is, uh, we'll just watch this video out, it is very special. I had these speakers before, and as you can see, um, always the, the foam of the mid-driver is finished. So you always have to change the foam of the mid-driver. And um, this is the back side. Well, these speakers were from 1972, and if you, in that uh, year, 1972-1974, they were sold between 1972 and 1974, that is two years after the GBL L100. The GBL L100 is from 1970, yeah? So, do not expect much from these speakers. Also, I had these speakers, and... Um, I didn't like the sound, yeah, but they are impressive speakers for their time. They are very impressive and they are nice to have, you understand? So even if you do not like the sound, these speakers are nice speakers for your collection. Nice to have because they are just beautiful. Watch them. Beautiful 12 inch woofer, that color, especially that color. And Marantz had, had, had his own way to make the speaker special. They, they were the only one who made these blue, blue colored woofers. I think they are paper cone uh, woofers. And uh, do not expect much bass from these speakers. These speakers didn't go low at all. Uh, officially it is 35 hertz. I do not believe that. I do not believe that. Uh, I had them in my house and I heard not a good bass. But it could be that if you change the filters, so the capacitors and the filter, they, they sound a little bit. But the biggest shortcoming from these speakers is the tweeter. The tweeter is mm, an old-fashioned tweeter, not very sparkling, not a very fresh sound. And yeah, no, this is not a speaker. Um, I think anybody can be happy with. Do you understand? So. I'm, I'm honest to you, but why I bid on these speakers? <laughs> why I'm bid on these speakers is this. What's this next picture? This is unbelievable, my friends. You see here the fronts of the speakers, and probably they are not 100%, but maybe 99% or 98%. I, from this picture, Maybe you see a, a mistakes, but I have my glasses on. I could not discover any fault in the fronts. And in all those years, in all those years, my friends, I saw these speakers online. They never came with the fronts, the original fronts. And if they came with the fronts, the foam was rotten away, half rotten at the, at the, the best foam Foams I saw they were half rotten, so unusable, so not 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 suitable to use them anymore. But I'm not I don't understand why there is still a pair left in the world. I think I believe this is the only pair in the world. Believe me, my friends, what I'm telling you now, this is the only pair in the world with the foams in this condition. And for the real audio, for the real lover, for me, you know what I like the most from these speakers? When I was, uh, well, 12 years old, between my 12th and my 16th year, when these speakers were popular, the fronts. The fronts were so beautiful, those blocked foam fronts. And probably you can make these fronts now with a laser machine. I'm not sure. I think they can make it everything you can make these days with but how much will it cost because it will be a one-time job and if you make uh, a laser you have to I, i'm not sure i'm not sure how that stuff works but i think you can make it with a laser and that's, but that is not original the color will, will always be different this is the original foam yeah because to make it with a laser will not be cheap, my friends. No, 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 no. It will be, 
you have to calculate the size to bring it in the computer, etc., etc., and uh, you have to find an address who will do it for you. This, I think it is. It will be very hard, very difficult to. F I, I think for a real collector, a Marans collector, yeah. Um, I mean, they, they, if you see what they pay for those turntables, those 6150. In around 6150, they paid 350 euros for that turntable. Well, I can tell you that turntable isn't worth 100 euro. Yeah, it's not a special turntable. But they buy it to complete the collection, the set, the set. And to be honest, these speakers, these speakers should be, if you are a Marantz collector, you have that Marantz set, you have that 6150 or even that more that 6300 6, uh, turntable, you have the cassette deck, the, the 510 the, or the 520, you have that, that, that beautiful uh, pre-amplifier, that, 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 that matching uh, uh, power amplifier or a receiver, you have the complete set my friends, so what is missing? Speakers. And if you have these speakers without the fronts, and they are always without the fronts, my friends, always, believe me, I never saw, if you can show me a picture, I mean a picture from today, not a picture from 20, 25 years ago, a picture from today, or a ad with the fronts like this, I can tell you that you will not find any picture like this. This is a... This is a picture, I think, the last set, or it has to be a new old stock. These speakers somewhere in the box, you know, still on on the shelf or somewhere. On, in, 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 I'm, not, I'm not sure where you can find new old stock from these speakers, but if they exist, new old stock, maybe you can find these still, these fronts like this. Of course, they will be new because they are in the box. And I'm not sure why they still in, are intact. Probably, I believe they were stored in a basement, so no sunlight. I think sunlight is killing for this stuff. If you see what sunlight is, often you see these old speakers, they have a color difference. Yeah, one is lighter than, you always have a color. Nine of the ten cases with, with vintage speakers, you have a color difference. That's because one of the speakers had more sunlight as the other speaker. And that's why, you, and, and if, it, if that is for one year, you don't see a difference. But if it is for 20 years, yeah, you see a difference. You understand? So sunlight is killing for a lot of things. Sunlight is, is ultraviolet light is very, not only for your skin. Yeah, it, 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 doctors are warning you it is very dangerous. You can get cancer. It browns your skin. It is beautiful, of course, that it browns your skin, but it can also give you cancer. It is, it is not good, and it, you can see that in that in those colors from those, those those speakers. Uh, they often uh, have a two color system. So one speaker is lighter than the other one. It is because of the sun. Yeah. So these speakers, if if they had sun, 100%, these foams were rotten away yeah so i think i think i believe so just my my thoughts you understand you can only find these foams in this condition if they are stored for maybe 30 40 years already these speakers are now 50 years old 1972 this 50 years 51 years yeah let's say they they, they were they, they, they were bought in, two, in 2000, no, in, in, in 1972, 1973, because they were built between 1972 and 1974. They were bought in 1973. They are 50 years old. Maybe the guy who had these speakers only used them for 10 years, 15 years. And the rest of the time, it was stored in the basement. And in the basement, you do not have sun. I think that is the case with these speakers. Well, how else can the foams be so beautiful? Just go on eBay, my friends, and probably if you if you have some knowledge, you already saw these speakers online many times. I'm 100% convinced that you never, 
but, but never saw these Maran speakers in this condition. Uh, I mean the foams, yeah, and probably the whole speaker is in this condition. What's this? Beautiful, my friends. Beautiful, beautiful. What's the what's the sides? Beautiful. I do not see a damage, but yeah. Not sure how many they were sold, but I can see in a year, they're not very rare. I see them online maybe 10, 10 times a year. Yeah, in the Netherlands, 10 times a year you can see a pair. Always without the foams, always without the front, the foam fronts. Or if they have the foam fronts, those foam foam fronts are ugly, very ugly. You cannot use them, this ugly they are, they are rotten away. And I think maybe if you have this, if you buy this, this set, you go to a specialist, a foam specialist, and ask him, is there stuff, so a plastic layer, what you can uh, uh, put over this foam, a plastic layer in a, in a can, a spray can, like if you buy new Suede shoes, you spray it to protect, protect against the water, yeah? If there is stuff you, you, specially made for foam, probably there is stuff to protect this foam. 50 years ago they didn't have that stuff. I believe they have this stuff now. So if you buy these speakers, treat them with that stuff so it stays intact, it stays like this. Because if you buy them within 10 or 15 years, these foam fronts will be ugly, you understand? And uh, with the knowledge we have now, knowing that these foam fronts are not that strong, well, you are warned and you can make take measures against that. You can treat it, you can treat it, just find a Google and find a way to, to, to protect these foams and then maybe they can last for 40 more years. You never know, you know, but I think only the foam fronts, I believe, for real collector, a real, I'm talking about the real collectors, eh? I'm not talking about the guy who just wants vintage speakers, you understand? I'm talking about the real Marantz collector. I think these speakers, these speakers, what you see here, have, should have, because of the foam fronts, should have a value from 400 euro, minimum, minimum. Because of those foam fronts, they are just beautiful. Because this is this is what I like from the speakers. In the ni in 1970, in the in the, in the in the beginning of the 70s, this is what I like the most from these marans, the beautiful foam fronts. Of course, these fronts are very bad for the sound. I agree with you with that. The speakers are not good sounding. Yeah, but if you are a marans lover, yeah. I don't think you can find a better pair than this pair in the world at the moment. And this guy, I'm going to show you what he's asking for these speakers. He, see, yeah, he, he, he placed bidding and I placed a bid. Well, let me place a bid from 65 euro. Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Oh, he withdraw the other bids from 50 and 60 euro. So he probably know what he have in his house. He probably know that these speakers do not have a high value, yeah. But he knows that he knows that the fronts are are very expensive in this in this condition. Anyway, this was the video. Your thoughts, please. Am I correct to say that I believe that? I think the normal value of these speakers are without the fronts are because of the yeah nostalgic nostalgic value yeah they are worth 100 euro sound wise they are worth to be honest with you 25 euro 30 euro that's that's what they I have better speakers upstairs in my in my in my stereo room they are worth 30 euro and they sounds better than these speakers but Nobody wants them because they are ugly speakers and they don't have a vintage value at all. You know, they're not vintage speakers. They sound better than these speakers. These speakers do not sound nice. Do not think these speakers will make you happy in sound. 
you buy these speakers, you know, like you buy that record player, that 61, you pay 350 euro these days for a, a 6150 uh, turntable, Maran's 6150, because it is Maran's. It is part of the set. And that's why you also buy these speakers to make your set complete. So for the real Maran's collector, yeah, these speakers have a value, I, I believe, 400 euro. Yeah, yeah. So, and, and, and probably, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not sure. I had a bit from 50, then another other guy did a bit from 60, and then I saw, oh, close to luck. Oh, my, unbelievable far. This is, well, two and a half hours driving. Yeah, I think I will drive two and a half hours for these speakers just to have them in my house, my friends. Beautiful speakers. But would I offer more? Not much more because the distance, you know, the, the, the driving distance is so much. Well, thanks for watching this video. Your thoughts, please. Your thoughts about, maybe you say, ah, Andrew, you're crazy, 400 euro for these speakers. But believe me, try to find these phone fronts. Never in the and never ever the last ten, the last ten years, I saw them in this new, almost new condition. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching. Put the thumbs up. Ciao, ciao.